So now, we got VD single to build a rap attack, AJ, Angel Baby. Is it ever possible that we'll ever see you and Kanye and Just Blaze work again? You know what I'm saying? On, on any type of thing as far as, you know, with the tracks is concerned. Yeah, I, 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 let's make it happen. Okay. I can get that. I, it, the hardest part probably be uh, Ye. You know, Ye in the mix right now. Uh, but Just Blaze, that's, they there. I don't want to get all airy, but... I got a couple tracks, some Just Blaze bangers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, is it true? Now, I'm, I'm taking this back to, like, the backstage DVD, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm coming back from, from the shorty, you know what I'm saying, watching everything yeah. unfold. Is it true that you battled Too Short for the record deal? Nah. Who did you, did, or did you have to battle somebody? I remember Jay was saying, like, tw you battled somebody, like, 20 minutes straight? Like, you was just blacking out on somebody? It wasn't even a battle, bro. I'm going to keep it 100. How I got on... Now it's funny because Too Short is in this story, so it's how this, it's funny how the story get twisted. The day that Jay Z heard me, he wasn't supposed to hear me. Philly's Most Wanted at the time had the meeting with Rockefeller. Okay. I just so happened to go with him. <laughs> but yeah, Bubana was like, "Yo, ride with me," because when me and my like I told you before, this guy that was my partner, Murder Mill. Me and him was partners. We battled most wanted. And the outcome was a little crazy, but me and Bubonic for most money exchanged numbers. He was like, yo, you hot. Because he knew Murder Mill. They knew each other. I didn't know none of them. I had just met him in a week. He was my partner. Gotcha. And we battled somebody. So when I went up there, I was just going along for the ride. And it was people in the studio. Too Short was in the studio. That day, Jay was, and Too Short was recording. It was all good just a week, week ago. A week ago, okay. Yeah, they was recording that song in the studio. So uh, I guess they had artists at that time. I didn't know who they was or whatever. And then most one that came in, and they rapped for Jay. And then his artists came. Uh, it was from New York. They rapped, and they start, I sit here, started going into a back and forth thing. So they was a they was feeling themselves. So I had to say, hold up a minute. And once Jay said, between they little thing, he was like, that's it. Don't nobody got nothing else. I said, I do. Yeah. Yeah, and I just stepped up. And they, I remember, I was like, what you and y'all was just recording on. And they put on that beat. It's all good a week ago. That's when it was real to real. I made that joint flip. That's how long I was rapping. The tape stopped. Yeah, okay. And then it was over. And he was like, you got some more? Yeah, I had a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran down on him acapella. And, and I, I was cool with that. Yeah, Going yeah, yeah. back to tell the homies, yeah, I just rapped for Jay. But when I was on my way out that door, he grabbed my hand. I left. Two days later, the folks that I went up there with, that was with uh, Most Wanted, they slid down on the block. Was like, yo, we want to holler at you. Yo, the boys want to. I'm like, man, get out of here. And three days later, I was in their office. Yeah. Okay. Rockefeller. Did you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because after that, it was like so much influence, you know what I'm saying? From the Young Guns, Petey Crack. Yeah. Did you know that Philly was going to have that stamp the way that it did? Because for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Everything you guys touched was just turning, you know, just turning gold, platinum. There was nothing you guys could do it wrong. Did you know it was going to have that imprint that yeah, it did? Yeah, because, like, in Philly, we was, for a long time, I wouldn't even say say that word. I'm going to scratch that. But for a long time, we was viewed that pop scene to those who was before us. And before us, who we had, we had Will Smith, uh... You had Steady B, you had EST. They was, you know what I mean, for that era. But that's all the people remembered us by from them, you know what I mean, those rappers. But it was some little dudes that was in the street that had a different bop than they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me. Yeah, I was in the mix. So my raps was different. My raps was different. So I knew it was a lot of people out there in Philly we just ain't get heard of. Back then, when you thought about Philly before Be Beanie Siegel, you thought about Will Smith. You might have thought about the Roots crew. Right. You know what I mean? At that time. But you ain't hear about the young girl from North Philly. Her name was Eve. 
she was in the mix, bopping. And the boy from South Philly, Benny Siegel, and they got another young boy up north named Freeway. Yeah. And a Puerto Rican dude that's from the Badlands named Petey Crack. I knew where all them little pieces was at. Yeah, and they, it just came together. Like, state property literally is the city of Philadelphia. South Philly, North Philly, West Philly. Okay, okay. Uptown, Uptown, Nice Town, because that's where the young guys, all that's the same. Mount Airy, that's, that's a section. You Uptown. Mm. It's just when you get Uptown, they break it up. But to South Philly, that's Uptown. That's North, that's West. You got Southwest, but that's all they got. Gotcha. But that's whole state property. is from different sections of the city. All right, so I got to ask you about this classic tee, something that we play to this day, every party. Yeah. It'll go off. You have the guys and the girls, you know what I'm saying, spitting the bars word for word. Mm -hmm. What we do is wrong. Good classic. That's that thing that's going to get knocked at the cookout 30 years from now. 20 years from now, somebody grandpa going to be in a chair with a bud ice. Yeah. Smoking a new pork. And that joint come on. Pop, pop, gonna be moving. Turn that up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kids gonna be drawing like, yo, look at Grandpa in his bag. That's a hood classic, man. The energy, it just feel good, the beat. Everything about it, it was just a monster. So, like, now, when that was being created, like, was it originally set for, you know what I'm saying, for you, Freeway, and Jay to get on it? Like, how was the... No, that was, that was something that Free snuck out. Yeah, Free got that one off. And Jay heard it and got on it. But I heard it before Jay got on it. And I was mad that Free already had it. <laughs> it's like, damn, that joint crazy. Because that's how it was. When you got Just Blaze in one room and Kanye West in the other, you going room to room. And they in there making joints. So it was like, damn. I'm looking at Just like, why you ain't call me? <laughs> yeah, and then the next time I heard it, Jay was on it and the record was done. No. Take that hook, move that section from there. I'm on that record. Okay. I ain't trying. Next time they came to the studio, I was on there. <laughs> I wasn't letting that one slide by. But no, Free had that to the wig. Then Jay got on it and then Free. Free let me hear it. It was over. Now, moving on, like I said, because you, you, you held it down for the rock for so many different ways. Yeah. I have to ask you this from a rap fan standpoint and not stirring the pot, but yeah. do you feel that like when the whole lock situation was going down, was that one of the hardest rap beefs that you had to deal with? I ain't never had no rap beefs. I was the only one. But I mean, you made it known. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do remember like saying you like used to go from state to state, you know what I'm saying? When you was on Oh, in battles? Yeah. No. That was like, none of them is ever worth remembering again once you when at it with Jadakiss. It's not a rap out here right now that can say right now that they lyrically prepared to even think about that. Mm. You will never hear nobody talk that they want to battle Kiss. Are you crazy? Never. That was my mo that was my drive at that time. Fuck. Mm, excuse me. But uh, you know, ah, I'm going there. I'm trained to go. Yeah. But nobody would have ever done that. So after Jada Kiss, I mean, there's it's no other rap beef that's, that's even worth mentioning. In, 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 in my, you know what I mean? When do you feel like at that point, like, you know what? Like it was, I'm not going to say it was squash, but like y'all came to a mutual understanding because I do hear, especially in the traps now, you'd be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? But I listen to the locks. You said in the, in the one joint, we can make it if we yeah, try. I'm you know what I'm saying? When did you guys come to that mutual, you know what I'm saying, respect for one another? I mean, it was there. It was like, it was already there. It was just at that time, it was like, who going, which one going to go? The tension, everything was there. It was, when we did it, it could have got serious, but it was about the bars too. Right. You know I mean, the art of it was still there. And it was like, that's, I think we was, I know I was in more the art of it. Like, let's go. Who knows what would have happened at the heat of it? Cause it didn't last like long, like we had crazy. It was just like you and your man getting something off your chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and then tomorrow y'all at the bar together drinking. That's what it so is. So it was. It was just like that. It was like I, 
ultimate respect on both sides. Okay, okay. Now, there's this thing that we got called Digging in the Crates. Yeah. Now, you know, going through your catalog, you was one of the few artists, especially like Snoop Dogg, that would take other people's joints. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you should do a lot with EPMD. Yeah. What was that reason? Was that your favorite, you know what I'm saying, your favorite artist, you know, coming in, or how did that... I mean, I, I guess when I was young, and, right. and, and when I thought I knew how to rap, they was, they was that, that's what rap was for me. Rap, me coming up, that's EPMD. That's Big Daddy Kane, that's KRS-One. You know what I mean? That's That was rap, so that's what I was listening to then. Now and I get a chance to talk my spell over what I used to like. Mm. That was that was one of my favorite beats. Okay. Right. Like, yeah. So what's that now? What's that one favorite record that you know? Like you said, if you're gonna go on a drive, or if you're gonna get in your car, you know what I'm saying? Old school rap record that's gonna take you back to when you first fell in love with rap music. Mm. That one record, the one, it, it'd probably be a collaboration of records. But when I knew that, uh. I would say, uh, Mr. Scarface. Okay. Mr. Scarface is back. When I when I first heard that, it was it was like, oh, it was curtains. That with this with that sample in it, all I have in this world, all I have in this, yeah. When I heard that, it was over. That was my go-to right there. Okay. I'm not even getting in your car if you don't gotta. Then. You know, they on their phones back then. It was the tape deck. Then it was the see If you don't got no, you don't got no system. I'm not getting in there. <laughs> I got Scarface and Public Enemy in my back pocket. Mm. I'm either lying to that, or I'm listening to this one. That's how I was riding. 